Hi there, Darren Lachner here from 365 Assist. So I've been trying to work out how in the best way in Power Apps, how to bulk delete records in a Dataverse table. Now, at first I thought the Power Apps data flows would be the way to go, but there's no way in that to be able to delete or uh, records. You can create or update the records in those data flows, but I couldn't delete them as bulk. So I've come up with a couple of different ways that I can do this um, and bulk delete them in my Power App or, or and using um, Power Automate to do this. So I thought I'd show you uh, what I came up with. So here I have my Power App and in my Power App, I've just got an, uh, the accounts table up with a whole list of accounts. There's hundreds of accounts I've created there. And I'm going to bulk delete them in two ways, well, using Power Automate in two ways. I've got one Power Automate flow that just deletes one record at a time, and the other one does it uh, delete as a bulk in the job. So the first way I do it, which is probably pretty slow, it's all right if you've got one or a few records, small number of records, but it does one at a time, so it's slow. So my Power Automate flow looks like this, pretty simple flow where it just lists the rows in the table uh, that I grabbed from the, I grabbed the table name from the, the Power App Canvas app. And for each one of those, it just goes through that row and deletes. So it's just going one at a time, looking at the list, deleting the row. And that can take some minutes. You can see back here when I had those few hundred, even I think it was about 500 records, it took nearly six minutes to run that. So that's that's a fine way of doing it, but it's all right if you've got small amounts or you know you, you might have a, a filter, a heavy filter on it. But I didn't like that from a bulk delete point of view. So the other way, and a lot of people do this via, you can do it manually via job. Uh, you need to be an, a Power App administrator, but what you can do manually when you're doing it one at a time is you create a, uh, a bulk delete system job. And that job, can be done, as you can see here, you create and you can create a new delete, bulk delete job and you run through the wizard, but you can only do this manually one at a time like this using the admin center to be able to do this. And using the center, you go through a bit of a wizard next. And I pause the recording for a second, a few seconds there because it takes a while to get to the next screen. But anyway, you can choose your table, you can click next, click okay. And you can schedule it to delete it now and you can run through that and finish that and submit it and delete it. But you have to do that every time you want to bulk delete the records, you have to do it that way. However, you can do it using Power Automate flows. So this will create the job. So if I would have done that, it creates these jobs here. So if I go to my Power Automate flow, I've got a flow, it's also quite simple, that it runs that, creates that job and runs it. So the action we want is perform an unbound action on the Dataverse table, okay? So the way we do that is, the way we create that is in the action name, there's a bulk delete, there's a number of options there, but the one I use is the bulk delete action. And you can select the different expressions here for the table information. The easiest way is just to, under the entity name. Unfortunately, you can't see the, the writing here. It's been squashed in for some reason. But the entity name here, and you can put type in the table name. It's got to be the logical table name. Uh, I'm just grabbing that from my Power App. Uh, then I give it a job name, which is these job names here. If you have a look here, these job names. So the job name I gave it was delete all records from the table name. And I've given it a time, a date timestamp. So it doesn't over, try to overwrite and doesn't work if you try to have the same name. So if I do here with the date timestamp, I can actually see which one... I'm actually running and how many records it's deleted. So I put that there, send email notification, no. Now the trick is here, you might see this two recipients or and CC recipients. Make sure that in those fields, uh, this is what really tripped me up, is you give it a blank array. So an open square bracket and a closed square bracket, right? So and make sure that you do that. And then recurrence pa pattern, the, it, you use a, an expression over here and you use the base to 64 to string and you open brackets in that bracket just put two single quotes in there and that'll accept it there and then in the state start date time stamp 
low, it's a mouthful. You put the UTC now as well in that, so that kicks it off straight away, unless you want to kick it off at another time. But generally, as the rule, you probably want to kick it off there, right? So that's the logic that you want to put there. I'll just uh, shoot that up so you can have a bit of a look there as well. So that's the clearing of really what you want to do in that unbound action. It's a bit tricky, um, and uh, there wasn't a lot online about how to set that up. Anyway, when you set that up and run that in my Power App, and I'm triggering, triggering that in my Power App to run, then that will go away and create this job. So we'll do this delete in bulk. I'll press that button so you can see. And then what will happen is this flow will kick off. If I go to the bulk delete records as a job, we should see my flow get kicked off in a sec. Well, around 10 seconds ago, it actually completed because what it's actually done is it's created the job. It was very, very quick to go and create that job. And if we go up to here, I've had four um, jobs. There should be a fifth one when I refresh it, hopefully. There he is, there's the fifth one. And it's in progress here. And you can see that it's running along in progress. And it's actually quite quick when I do 600 records. It will only take a few minutes to finish uh, to do that. So we'll just refresh that. I'll come back in a sec. I'll just put you on pause for a sec. And just after probably less than a couple of minutes, it's now succeeded and done the 602. If I go to my app and refresh, there I've lost all the records. So the records were all gone in that table. So yeah, that's a couple of ways of doing it. I found uh, quite useful how to delete records in bulk.